Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Sunday. Um, shoot, I think you guys can probably hear the washer going in the background. Sorry about that. I didn't think to close the, uh, the laundry room door. <laughs> anyway, let's work around it. Hi guys, happy Sunday. So I think most of you probably thought today would be the day that I share my Bath and Body Works and Yankee Candle collection. Unfortunately, we had a little issue with water damage in one of our rooms <laughs> this past week. So um, I had to move some things around, which took up the space where I was planning on like laying out all of the candles. And so until we get the mess cleaned up from the roof damage that leaked into one of our bedrooms, um, I'm gonna have to postpone that. But it is coming. If you missed the, um, the candle collection from last weekend, which was Homeworks, Nest Candles, Colonial, Henry Bendel, um, all of those, I will link that video down below. Definitely go check that out if you missed it. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys can just hang tight for the second part of that series. So anyway, uh, but today I can bring you some thoughts on the Homeworks Rose Petals. As you can see, I did pick up um, the duo from QVC. So I ordered this a few weeks ago. Um, I don't think I paid the current price, which right now is $49.50 but free shipping and handling. Um, so uh, actually uh, probably about the same price point um, since you're not paying for the shipping and handling. But these are a little bit more spendy. Um, that is obvious. This is the specialty glass. Um, this particular glass is new. And what I love about it is that Harry did not put a label on the front, which I'm personally a huge fan of. Um, the labels on the hobnail jars were always really difficult to get off for me, even though I soaked them and used Goo Gone and all that stuff. They were just kind of a pain in the butt to clean up. So I love that these glasses do not have um, a label on them at all. I also love the H monogram design. It kind of looks a little bit like a basket weave. And um, I love the color of this glass. I have to admit that one of the main reasons that I picked up this duo, besides liking the rose petal scent, is I really liked the look of this glass. And I'm very much looking forward to repurposing this in my house after I'm finished with it. Um, the other hobnails that I have repurposed look fantastic in the bathrooms. What I will typically do is put cotton rounds or cotton puffs or Q-tips, um, something like that into these containers. I plan on putting this one in my office and I think I'm gonna use it for um, like paper clips or um, maybe like post-it notes or something. So anyway, I just thought it was really pretty. And I'm kind of a sucker for pretty, so this works out for me. Um, anyway, the lid does have the um, the Harry monogram on it as well at the top there, so you can kind of see that um, that design also goes around the top of the lid, and then the sides are kind of scalloped. What I want to say about the inside is that this glass is not tinted. In fact, you can see when you look up here, it's actually clear. It's just the inside is essentially, I guess, spray painted. It's the same inside of the jar. So the glass itself is clear. And then they just spray the inside with the color that coordinates with the particular scent. Um, that is, I do wish the glass was just clear and maybe he used a colored wax or something like that. Only because if you're not careful when you're cleaning out the inside of the jar, you can scratch that paint on the inside and there's really no way to fix that once you scratch it. So um, I figured out a way to do it very carefully. Essentially, I will just put, once the candles are done, I put them on a hot plate warmer and I allow the glue to be loosened up from the wick clips. And then I carefully lift them straight up because it's the wick clips that if you slide them around at all, that will scratch the bottom. 
Um, so anyway, that's my solution and it wor it's worked pretty well. Um, but do know that the it's spray painted on the inside. It's not pink glass, if that's what you're expecting. All right, um, so we've talked about the packaging. It's gorgeous. It's a very heavy um, jar, which is what makes it nice for repurposing afterwards. Um, it's very substantial and it just looks pretty. So anyway, um, let's talk about the scent. So the rose petal scent is um, a blend of rose, peony, apple, melon, geranium, and peach. So I feel like this is exactly the same as the original rose petals that was released last year. Last year's obviously came in the traditional glass jar, except it had this really pretty wraparound label of different colors of like pink and blush and cream roses. Loved the label last year, so pretty. I actually just finished my rose petals from last year earlier this month. And so I did have a chance to smell these side by side and even burn them side by side um, for a few hours during one of my burns and they smelled exactly the same. So the blend, I don't feel changed at all from last year. If you loved rose petals from last year, you're gonna love this. This year's packaging is different and it's a little more expensive than last year's, but if you love the scent, it's, it's the same scent. So what I get from this when it's burning is a really beautiful garden rose. Um, there is definitely some sweetness to the rose, but it's not an overly sweet candle. I think the sweetness that is coming in here is definitely coming from like the peach and the apple. The apple really smells more of like an apple blossom type of note. Um, but really that rose is the most predominant. Um, and then you can kind of get that little bit of like peach sweetness and apple blossom kind of florally sweetness as well. I don't get any geranium from this and I really don't get any melon. Um, peony, I mean, I guess rose and peony are kind of similar. Although Homeworks does have an enchanted peony option right now that's being sold at Ulta. So if you want that, you can definitely pick it up there. Has a beautiful label as well with just beautiful roughly um, peonies going around the entire outside of the label. Um, that one's a very lovely scent as well. Um, I have burned an enchanted peony and really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, but there, there's definitely a difference between the two. Um, I will say I really enjoyed this candle. I am continuing to enjoy it. I will definitely be burning this throughout the spring and the summer since I have two of the candles. I know that I probably have enough for me personally for this upcoming spring summer season. It's not a scent that I light every single day. I definitely have to be in the mood for it, but when I am, this is like perfect for that. I find myself craving a lot more floral scents right now because um, as most of you guys are aware, I am a florist and most of my clients are wedding and corporate clients and because of um, the current situation in our country right now, all weddings, all corporate events are being canceled and pushed back. So when I would normally be doing a bunch of um, floral work this time of year, it's not happening. <laughs> so I'm kind of craving some floral scents and this one is definitely hitting the spot for me. In terms of strength and throw, this one is a solid performer. Um, it's right around a seven in terms of throw. It fills up most of my downstairs when I light it up. Um, more so of an eight when I put it in my entryway just because of the airflow out in here I'll show you guys really quickly the airflow out in this hallway out here is just kind of perfect for helping fragrances waft around the entirety of the house but when I have it in like my kitchen or my family room there's definitely it's a little more concentrated to those areas because the airflow isn't quite as good. So um, 
I would say in an average house, it's probably a throw of about seven. Strength, right around a seven as well. It's definitely noticeable. It's not something where you're gonna walk in and sniff around and be like, what is that? You know, you're gonna know right away that there is um, that there is a floral candle burning. <laughs> but it's nice, it's soft, it's feminine, it's very pretty. Um, I feel like it's fairly authentic. Um, the rose that I get from this is more, like I said, a garden rose than a like traditional rose. So I'm thinking like David Austin roses, like maybe Patience or Gwendolyn, one of those um, specific types. I tend to work with a lot of David Austin roses. They are crazy expensive, even at wholesale. Typically when I pick up a bunch of 12, it costs me between 45 and 50 bucks wholesale for a bunch of those roses. So they're very expensive, but they're gorgeous. They're so pretty. My clients love them and they look beautiful in bridal bouquets especially. So we typically reserve those expensive David Austin roses for personal flowers. Um, and then we use less expensive roses in the centerpieces. But yeah, just very pretty, very authentic. Um, I love it. So anyway, this obviously gets two thumbs up for me. Um, if this scent comes back again next year or if there are more of these left over next spring, I will absolutely pick up another duo and I will continue to enjoy it because it's a really nice change of pace from a lot of the like heavy bakery scents that I've been doing and then also a lot of the like fruity scents that I've been doing. So um, anyway, did you pick up rose petals? What are your thoughts? Let me know down below. Um, oh, wick issues, I'm not having any here. Um, I keep it lit for about three hours before blowing it out and I do blow my candles out. I know that Harry recommends just putting the lid over top. I don't like that because I think the wax gets a smoky smell. Um, my nose definitely picks up that smoky smell when I go to relight it and I, and I don't want that, especially not in a beautiful rose scent like this. So I blow it out um, and then uh, obviously I wait for the wax to harden, then I trim the wicks and then relight the next day or a few days later. So, uh, but no wick issues for me. They are all doing well. Um, the spring ones that I've burned so far are great. So anyway, uh, thanks again for taking the time to watch. If you are new, I hope you'll take the time to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.